It's something about their NBA money, man. And this is seven reasons right here why the ladies love cool Mike. <laughs> I go in the garage, man. It's like, which whip do I take out today? Is it going to be the Benz? Is it going to be the Aston Martin Vantage? The Audi? The Hummer? The Range? The Aston Martin 177? But I'll take the Bugatti out on a quick little spin. Look at that interior, man. Boss. Now, you see ladies walking down the street and you think to yourself, man, she's looking good. Hair done, outfit looking nice. She got her heels on. She is percolating down the street. Looking damn good. Damn sexy. And then you think to yourself, man, I should holler at her. I can step to her. <laughs> and that's the kind of response you get. But that NBA money, it changes things. And this is more like the response I get when I pull up in that Bugatti, roll the window down, and I ask her what's up. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dang. <laughs> Save some of that for after the game. <laughs> NBA 2K12, Mike McCoy. Let's go. Here we go, man. Boston Celtics versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. And the NBA is back, man. Christmas Day, we're going to have some NBA action. I'm glad they got a deal worked out. I know a lot of you out there are probably glad as well that we'll have some, you know, a basketball season because <laughs> it was looking pretty bleak there for a moment. Um, but they put the greed aside because all there was was greed, man. Uh, put the greed aside and got a deal done, so good for them. Now, if you missed the lineup screen, you might want to rewind this video just up for about 5 to 10 seconds and see that Paul Pierce is not in the starting lineup. And that is because he is gone. Shipped from Boston to Los Angeles. <laughs> so he's out there with Kobe Bryant. And meanwhile, we get Lamar Kardashian, who does not create off the dribble and basically has made our team a worse team along with Ron Artest, who is a shell of his former self. So that was the trade. I thought we were done with trades. And bam, just out of nowhere, Paul Pierce is gone. I'm going to run a – see, that is exactly why I run the zone on some defensive possessions. It throws the offense out of whack. And sometimes, key word, sometimes you have your teammates help you <laughs> and play the passing lanes, and they give you opportunity to create – turnovers and fast break transition baskets so here we go man look at kardashian oh my goodness are you kidding me and that's the funny thing because he always does that and always misses he tries to create off the dribble and more times than not he misses three misses to start the game guys so the nba 2k12 downloadable content is available Woo. Where is my foul? Where is my foul? The NBA 2K12 uh, Legends downloadable content is available. I will not be purchasing that. So if you're looking forward to seeing some of that on my channel, you need to go somewhere else. Um, no crew, no buy. <laughs> and 2K alienated a lot of their fans by not having the crew and the online being messed up. But now, see, what they're trying to do is capitalize off the NBA coming back, which is a smart business move, but you're not going to get me like that. I held out from purchasing Madden two years. <laughs> so not purchasing DLC from uh, 2K is not a problem for me. And look at Kendrick Perkins. Garnett, how you just going to get slapped like that in the post? But yeah, man, like I said, they're trying to capitalize off the NBA being back. But if you ask me, that downloadable content should be free. To be honest, and I think this game is about, it's worth about $25. I like the old school. Oh, my goodness. You know what? At some point, I'm going to make a video about the problems I have with this game. <laughs> it's just not going to be right now. But there's a lot of problems looming out there for the 2K series, man, that they need to clean up going forward to 2K12. I mean, 2K13. 
Ogden for Russell Westbrook. We picked the action up in the second quarter, man. Two minutes left to go. 45 to 39. We're losing. One thing I do want to say, man, I want to start. I want to thank you all for the support this far. Um, you know, I've been doing this since NBA 2K11. And if you go back and check some of my older NBA 2, look at Garnett. Way to move to the basket, man. It's just me and him. It's a two-man game. Ray Allen spots up occasionally, but as far as our offense goes, it's just me and Garnett. Uh, but like I was saying, thank you for the support. Um, go back and look at some of my 2K11 videos. I've been doing this for a while. And look at Kevin Garnett. <laughs> I'm going to say Kevin Garnett. Look at Kevin Durant with the turnaround. Durantula. And, you know, I won't say Michael Jordan on him. I'll just go ahead and accept that. But anytime, let's just say Serge Ibaka would have hit that shot. You just, you know, when he hits that shot, you say to yourself, Michael Jordan for two. You make yourself feel a whole lot better. <laughs> because only Michael Jordan can hit some of these shots that some of these uh, my player teammates make. And I'm not talking about your teammates either. And look at that. Rebounded over, and now he gets a shot to go to the line. 47-41. to 41. But, yeah, thank you for the support thus far. Hopefully I'm going to keep keep them going. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to do the McCoy series uh, because I have plans to stretch it out. I have ways to actually extend the story. Some few surprises involved, but. You know, I mean, it might be time to do a new thing once NBA 2K13 rolls around. And on top of that, hey, I might not even be doing commentaries at that point. Like I said, I, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I talked about retiring from the commentary game and just getting out of it. To me, it's, it's becoming a lot more saturated with them handing out partnerships like it's candy. And then people are just in it for money. Like when I first got my partnership, I wasn't in it for money. Even though I put ads on my videos and all that kind of stuff. And I, I've, I said this on Twitter. Man, if you're not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. At Azure Effect. Because I can say stuff on there that I don't have to put together footage um, and commentaries to do in a video. Sometimes we just chop it up on there. And I get some of the topics out. And tweeting this, you know, how many of it, what, 120 characters? Are you kidding me? Dude. Kevin Garnett is a Hall of Famer. You let that man just get blocked like that. Like, that was just shameful. <laughs> this game is shameful at times. <laughs> I have no words. I have absolutely no words. <laughs> Out of this world, guys. Out of this world. <laughs> Where did he even learn that move? But, yeah, man, at some point I'm going to retire from commentary and probably just put up gameplay. I don't know, you know. I hadn't really decided yet because I'm a person that speaks my mind, and when something bothers me, I got to get it off my chest. And I do that through the form of these videos. It's kind of cathartic uh, to put out commentaries about these games because we all play games. You know, it doesn't make me special that I have a channel or a partnership. And a lot of that is lost in translation when you get a partnership and people start thinking about money and becoming the next c Nanners, the next Hutch, the next, you know, whoever you look up to in the commentary game. Instead of just being yourself, having fun, and putting up commentaries like you like. So here we go at the half, 21 points. He has 12 points, and he's buried one three-pointer in the course of this game. Down it's good that he's seven, established though. himself as having the ability to knock down that long-range shot because it forces the defense to respect him. Time to tip off the HP Halftime Show. So glad to have you with us. Oklahoma City up on top against Boston. Their hot streak continues, looking good so far. Their team's leading scorer, Kevin Durant. He's got 12 points and, as usual, a big factor on the glass. And no shortage of desire from the Celtics' side of things. Hitting their free throws at a high percentage has been a key factor for them. Getting it done early, Kevin Garnett. After two, he's got 10 points, added three rebounds as well. Great effort on the court by these two in the first half. We'll see if they can carry the load again in the second. A lot in the NBA to catch up on. Let's check it out as we go around the league. I'm looking forward to um, gaming with more of my subscribers. 
uh, because I'm a gamer, and I don't, you know, I play more than sports games. I play the uh, shooter games. So I play Battlefield, Call of Duty, um, and just looking to expand on some more games as well in the future. Uh, I thought about putting up Saints Row gameplay um, at some point, and another tip dump. <laughs> This game, boy, I tell you, I used, you know what, I used to play 2K as a stress reliever from Call of Duty, but now it's the other way around. Like, this game pisses me off. Look at this. Oh, good pass. Yes. Now, you knew that was going in. <laughs> but, yeah, I used to play 2K as a stress reliever, but now Call of Duty or playing Modern Warfare or Battlefield or any kind of shooter game is more of a stress reliever over playing this, especially my player mode. And let the offense come to him a little more. He's forcing things right now. Here's Garnett. And Garnett misses an easy duck. Man, this game is crazy. So, unfortunately, my Xbox 360 friends list is stays full. I'm going to look to remove some people. <laughs> hey, did y'all see Ray Allen right there? He was dancing on him. I don't know why he dancing. We down by 15. But uh, unfortunately, Xbox only holds 100 friends, and my friends list is pretty much always full. Not only with gamers and subscribers, but um, people I know in real life too. And I'm not, I'm not about to take people I know in real life off of my friends list. Terrific job of moving the ball around here. Yeah, much better than their opponents. Seems like every time they score, it's coming off of an assist. And, you know, the rebounding edge here has been key because they're getting a lot of... The only way I remove people from my friends list in real life is if they haven't been on in a long, long time or, <clears throat> you know, they don't play the same games as I do anymore. And that way that gives up a free spot for me to ask some subscribers, man. So 98 to 82, taking a beating... And you would, you know, say, why would you put this up? You are, you are taking a pounding. But that's just the way it is, man. I was just, you know, I'm not looking for YouTube standards. This was a good game from that. From the beginning, it was a good game. Uh, it started off that way, and then it kind of creeped into a blowout. Once my teammates started missing shots, they started hitting threes. And the rest just falls into place. If you've ever played this game in my player mode, you know exactly how it goes. Uh, they break down your team. As you can see, the Oklahoma City Thunder are still intact. They still got Kendrick Perkins, uh, Westbrook, uh, Durant. And so they just mess up other people's teams. <laughs> I guess maybe to frustrate you. As you can see, pure frustration from Mike McCoy but you know what there's always something that can cheer a man up and I'm about to take you there right now <laughs> so go ahead and get ready discretion advised do your thing